What's up YouTube, it's Fitzbro and we have our patch notes for the August patch of Age of Empires 4. There's sure to be several balance changes and gameplay updates, so you'll want to stay up to date. What's going on in the game? Let's dig into this, break this down. If you've not already, make sure you hit that sub button, leave me a comment when you think about these patch notes, and catch me live this Sunday on EGC TV on that road to Red Bull Wolo, as I will be casting the finals event of this weekend. Let's get into this. So we've got Age of Empires 4 patch 2249. And it is August 3rd. I think the patch is actually going to be dropping tomorrow on the 4th. So that'll be on Thursday. Welcome back to an exciting patch for Agent Empires 4. We'll be rolling out balance changes, bug fixes, and more. And yes, that means we're also including the prelate attack move bug. Yay! Goal! We're also adding more improvements to hotkey features, including the ability to batch queue units properly when using shift, mapping more hotkeys for SIF specific commands, here are a few highlights of what you can look forward to. Okay, remappable hockey fixes, map balance changes, other balance features, quality of life bug fixes. Let's get into that nitty gritty. First thing up on the list, we've got our build spotlight remappable hotkeys. When using the fully remappable hockey layout, holding down shift key in unit production commands will correctly batch produce units. So I think this was a bug that was introduced in the most recent patch that should be fixed now that you're when you, you can hold shift and click something it's going to batch cube a bunch of them when using the fully remappable hockey layout holding down a hockey now correctly queues up multiple units in a production building and buy sells large quantities of resources at the market okay that's good especially that market one is very useful right being able to sell a lot at a time or buy a lot of time fixes to remappable key bindings so I'm not going to read every single one of these, but essentially if you've been remapping some of your hotkeys, maybe notice some of these things have not been working correctly. We've got a number of fixes to those uh, mappable options. I'm looking through here to see if there's anything apps that are daily, particularly for me. You know that I see a lot of some China things. Mongol looks like daily. I see a science card directly is now remappable. Whoop you do. I'm never going to remap that thing. I use grid a lot. I remap a few things, but I use a grid for a good portion of what I do. Okay, new mod options. We've added additional terrain types for modders that spawn just once instead of each main resource type. Okay, gold, small and large, stone, small and large, berry, small and large, deer, and sheep. So just some changes to modding there. So I'm sure that will be an improvement to our mod modded maps. Of course, we see a lot of those on our weekly Road to Red Bull Wolo events. Let's get down into the balance. Always my favorite topic to discuss. General balance, technologies, herbal medicine. Okay. Healing rate and improvement reduced from 100% to 60%. So this is a massive hit to healing. We know it's been huge, whether it's elephants healing or you're, you're healing man arms or knights, whatever it might be. This is going to change a lot. So it's going to be reduced 40% that, that healing uh, rate improvement that is that was included with that herbal medicine upgrade you get at your uh, your mosque or whatever. With the addition of attack move healing in the last major update, we're seeing all of you bringing far more monks to the battlefield. Careful what you wish for, right? This change is mostly targeted at the Delhi Sultanate, who can stack really high healing on elephants, but it's also a way to temper the effects of attack move healing in general. Survival techniques. Cost reduced from 100 gold, 50 wood, to 75 gold, 25 wood. So survival techniques, this is your faster hunting upgrade you can get at the mill. And the research time decreased by 20 seconds. So this could change up some of that early game meta. Is this going to be a technology that people are going to go for early on now and maybe really prioritize getting those deer? We know you could really skyrocket into a fast castle if you could take the deer early on. Perhaps we're going to, have to see how people's economic builds change with this. Let me know what you think about this change, because I think this is going to be an interesting one as far as that early game and maybe some of that prioritization towards deer. Maybe we'll see this upgrade coming out uh, more quickly. But it's just a little bit of a decrease, right? But it's it, kind of cool. Okay. Units. Siege engineering. Re research time reduced from 45 to 30 seconds. Okay. That's a 15 second change now. So when you want to get those, that, that essentially will allow you to get those rams out on the field earlier than before. 15 seconds. Now, is it huge? No, but that timing, that's 15 seconds extra. You're going to get that tech uh, and allow you to uh, build those rams out. Now, of course, for the Abyss, I feel like this is like, this is a buff for other civs, but like that was Abbott's unique civ trait. And now that they can already build rams, right? And now everyone's going to have them a little faster. So a little bit of a way, like kind of a nerf to their uniqueness there. 
Ram cost has been decreased from 300 to 250. I think I like this even more than the the the, the time to get the uh, to research that has been changed. So now it's gonna be 50 wood cheaper for Rams because Rams very expensive not extraordinarily effective i'm not sure if this is really going to change a whole lot it's just 50 wood like yes that's going to help but uh, let's match on a push where you're making say two rams okay now you're saving 100 wood three you're saving 150 wood like that's going to add up a little bit but it is a little bit change uh that they're aiming this at making defense against a tower rush easier because you'll get it faster and cheaper I really like this for Abyssin. It's gonna be easier for me to make rams. By reducing the time to access ram construction and the cost of building a defensive ram, we're also aiming to make feudal aggression more viable against turtling players. You know, this clearly means I need to try out some uh, some dark age ram options with Abyssin again, right? That's clearly what we gotta do here. Okay, so big changes to ram siege engineering. So far in survival techniques, herbal medicine, th these are all nice changes really liking this so far scouts oh boy you know i get triggered by scouts harassing me early on let's see what this says train time increased from 20 to 25 seconds that is a big deal because if you're training two scouts at the beginning right you're delaying that villager by training that second scout that's not going to be five more seconds and that's the time, type of time like that early on in the game is really going to matter. So those people that start with those two scout openings versus people who are only opening with their initial scout, they're going to be five seconds ahead of you, uh, potentially. Um, so that's a little bit of a change. I, that, I wonder if that's going to change anyone's decisions on whether they go for second scout every time or not. It also still, like, I feel like this is more of a... This is kind of a... Uh, it's. It's kind of, I think, a buff to Roost because you're saying, oh, well, Roost are going to train three or four scouts, right? Well... Other people are going to lose villi more villager seconds on that. The Roos is just losing time from their hunting cabin, right? So they're not really losing villagers like train time. So this doesn't really impact them a ton other than, yes, they'll get them slower. But this honestly is going to hurt the other civilizations more. A little bit of a buff to Roos, I think. But this is not. Health regeneration reduced by 50%. I think this is very appropriate. So scouts, they auto heal. Now that's going to take longer for you to auto heal. So maybe they will choose a little more wisely whether they're going to take those fights where your villagers just take a stab at them and they just heal up immediately right scout production time has been increased wait what train time increased production time i don't it seems like the same thing to me but i don't i don't know why that's different reduce the height of stealth forest the height of stealth forest from 500 to 100 to allow for scouts to see through them reliably without obstruction that mean high views back on the menu for me because i've had that boy banned scouts could sometimes have their vision blocked due to terrain height or placement of certain stealth trees we've updated their vision to be able to see through stealth forests more reliably okay i like this so scouts gonna i've always said scouts should be scouting that should be their purpose so them being able to see over some stealth forest i think sounds very appropriate sounds good early horsemen vanguard man armed and spearmen the cost to advance to the next tier reduced from 75 gold 25 food to 35 gold 15 food that's a huge reduction and for me i'm always upgrading my spearman holding up against the f especially you're usually like let's be honest the biggest use for this is upgrading your spearman to defend against french knights we know that's what's going on right this could be a lot cheaper it's that's now going to be 35 gold instead of 75 gold 45 55 65, 65. that's 40 gold savings that's 40 less gold i have to uh mine now that's easy to get uh, I just have to get 35, essentially, after I get enough for my fresh food stuffs. You know, I'm always thinking of the mine of Absid and 10 less food, but this gold change, pretty significant. Research time also has been reduced 15 seconds. Oh, okay, I like this. Holding off French is going to be a whole lot easier thanks to this update. This is massive. Okay, building. We haven't even got to the, the sieve balance yet. So, really good so far. Uh, you know, I call it is. If the developers are making mistakes, I'm going to say something about it. If they're doing a good job, I'm going to say something about it. I think this all looks amazing so far. Buildings, defenses, no longer favor rams as a target. Okay, so before they would, they would really target those rams, right? When defending a ram push, defenses will get stuck attacking rams since they do so little damage. It's possible to force defenses to attack other targets manually. But we want to give defenders more breathing space to focus on managing more interesting elements of combat. So th <laughs> this is interesting. So they buff the rams, right? So you can get them cheaper and a little bit faster, right? As far as the train time for siege engineering. But 
this to try to make it so you could uh, attack more, more more easily early on but this is going to be a huge defender's advantage because now you don't have to micro your town center to shoot other units like think about trying to make your ram push now and now all your other units are gonna get wiped maybe you could like have a ram soaking some damage but i think this is going to make those ram pushes even harder because you take for granted how often those buildings will focus on ramps town center weapons reducing the number of garrison slots holy cow Woo! red flag red flag red flag so right now your starting town center could hold 20 villagers or slots right 20 units it now can only hold 15. so this makes me nervous when those horsemen or, or night raids come in and especially those like long feudal games you're going to have five more villagers stuck outside that town center. So you're going to need to build an additional tower to hold that where you might not have before. So that's going to uh, really make that uh, it, it dangerous to just have your base open for a raid. Default weapon attack interval increase from 1.12 to 1.88. So that means it's going to be slower at attacking the town center. Garrison and arrow attack interval increased. So... The town center is going to dish out less damage and you're going to have less slots. So it definitely is going to make the town center more vulnerable. So a lot of interesting changes are these rams and town centers. Some of these small things like this is going to be, this is going to change up the meta a little bit. I think it's going to. Uh, Garen slots reduced. Yes, we saw that. Okay. So we want pushes and field age to be more viable at pushing heavy greed strategies. Will this be enough to actually be able to apply feudal pressure to the Holy Roman Empire or French? I don't know. We'll have to see. Outpost. Health reduced from 1,750. Okay, so an outpost nerf. That's 250 HP gone from the outpost. The build time increased by 15 seconds. Outpost garrison attack interval increased. So it also now attacks slower. So a big tower nerf there. Tower rushing has been a consistently strong strategy for a while. And our changes towers are make it more difficult to place them offensively. Now they take longer to build and have less health as it should give defenders a large window. The interesting part of this though, okay, towers take longer to build now, significantly longer. And yes, well, they will take you longer to build them on the front line, but presumably you're going to need more towers at home now to defend. And now it's going to take 15 more seconds to get that tower up on your gold mine or that tower on your wood line while you got five less slots in your town center. That's going to shake things up. Very interesting. Lots of uh, overall balance changes. Uh, I'm excited to talk about this with Twitch chat later tonight. Okay, the Delhi Sultanate. We're on to the individual Civ balance. Delhi. Tower War Elephant. Health has been reduced by a lot. That's 260 health reduction. Ranged armor has been increased from a 4 to 7. So three additional ranged armor. And there's the, the the nerf to the healing, right? It was a 40% uh, the, the uh, herbal medicine uh, nerf. So elephants have, it's been nerfed, but also, I don't know. It, while it's less HP and healing is less, it does now have more ranged armor too, which usually is the unit that's most likely to be able to get hits off on those elephants if they're like running around on the back line. So while it's a nerf to them, I, I feel like we're gonna play around with it. Uh, it's an it's an expensive elephant. It's an expensive elephant. It's an expensive expensive investment to get an elephant. And yes, we have seen some like crack strategies with like stacking elephants and healing. But maybe the healing nerf was enough. Is this going to be overkill? Does this mean you're going to be losing your huge investment too easily because you don't have a lot of HP and you can't heal them fast enough? Uh, but they also got additional ranged armor. So it's just you're going to really target these out with melee units now. It'll be interesting to see how these tower elephants play out. Spam the elephants in the chat. You know the deal. Okay, French. Okay. Who's ready for some French nerfs? You know we are always ready. We're always ready. All of Reddit's ready. Town center production rate bonus set. Oh, they reduced the bonus here. So this is the uh, production rate, right? They get additional bonuses as they go through the ages. Now it is 10%, 10%, 15%, and 20%. So that's going to be changed to that economy of the French, particularly in the early game here. Okay, known issue. Help text. Okay, don't care about text. Uh, our data shows that the French are exceptionally strong around the 10 to 20 minute range, you think? So this slight nerf to their town center bonus is aimed at addressing the runaway economy in the early stages of the game. So that's going to be a big change for you French players out there with those production rates of your villagers. But overall, don't really need to change your play style a ton, right? Holy Roman Empire. HRE emergency repairs cooldown increased from 60 to 75 so it'll take longer to do the emergency repairs again the cooldown 
We feel that the town center changes and the ram changes should make the HRE fast tech strategy much riskier and will make punishing greedy HRE players much easier than before. We'll see. We will see. Prelates like life have found a way to ex haha <laughs> i like that jurassic park reference life will find a way to exploit their shiny new attack move behavior we've ensured they respect the cooldown and inspiration ability correctly thank you thank you thank you this is going to be nice as prelates going to attack move appropriately no uh ruin the uh, they're not going to break that cooldown anymore it looks like the emergency repair is a little slight nerf is it enough though for the holy roman empire which has been one of the more dominant civilizations out there only time will tell. Going on to the Mongols. Mongols now begin the game with a packed Gur. We got a Mongol buff. Wow, look at that. So they will start with the Gur now, which is, that's what, 100 wood savings, right? It's 100, I can't remember, 100, 150. I haven't played Mongols in a second. I think it's 100 wood. And, uh, you know, the first thing I think is, do you just roll that out to the deer? Do you just roll it out and get deer, like, right away? Or is that going to be a... Now you don't need to set your town center right next to the gold. Maybe you, you says you have this girl. You don't have to chop for it. Now that initial wood chopping go all straight to barracks, right? Just straight to tower rushing. This is going to give some early game options to the Mongols. And I like this maps, map balance, Altai, the gold generation locations been given a pass after seeing instances. Okay. So the gold favoring one player, both starting small gold deposits don't spawn forward for one player. Okay, the far starting gold deposit have been moved to accessible, yada, yada, yada. The large deposit has been moved. TLDR, they have balanced out the gold. It looks like now you should have like a front gold and a back gold. We've got these pictures along with distributed gold on the side. They've also changed up the forest a little bit. Okay, so a little bit of change of, for all type. Ancient Spires. I'm going to check in the Ancient Spires map script. Fix an issue where the player's starting pawn could stomp out the trade post. Okay, so that's just a little bug fix. Okay, other bug fixes. Let's see how these are worth reading. Horse Archer and Cindy Arrows no longer lose attack speed when upgraded. I didn't know that was a thing. Fixed a crash. Okay. Fixed a bug where it was uh, possible to repair structures even when you don't have the necessary resources. Does that mean that like negative three stone we see or whatever? Is that what that is? Builders will no longer T-pose while reloading after shooting Gaia. Okay, so small little bug changes. UI fixes. New icons were created for the Abbasid market. Toggle secondary trade resources. Okay, there you go. For all that trading we're doing with Abbasid. <laughs> I was hoping to see some kind of buff to trading. I don't know. Trading seems so hard to use until super late with a completely walled base. Team games, maybe more. Post-match timeline UI. French's third and fourth age markers will now be displayed. Fix an issue with the time to age four column. Okay. We haven't seen any timeline updates in a while. Player color mini map changes. Adjusted the orange player color so it's easier to distinguish it from the red. I did notice. I said this the other day when I was streaming. Like, red and orange on the minimap? Very, very hard to see the difference. I would say the same with pink and purple. I think it could be a little bit more dramatic. Updated the black outline thickness of unit icons on the minimap so that their color stands out more. Uh, the Wingard Rangers and Raiders added to the English tech tree. Okay. Wow. Uh, we, are, we are, what, 18 minutes in here? This has been just great balance changes. I think I've liked almost all of these. I don't, I don't think there's been anything I could super complain about. I'm really curious to hear what you guys think about this. So hope you're typing down there in the comments section. What's on the horizon? Future patches will be addressing other issues like shift interfering with grid key. So a lot of people have complained about how shift inter, uh, shift behaves in the game in general. I generally don't have issues with shift, but I think it's just like, it's just the, I'm not using it in that way, but I know there's players that are adamant that this has really messed them up. Uh, shift, shift queuing, not resetting after releasing shift. Or maybe it hasn't made an impact to me and I didn't even realize it, you know? Last month, I shared an early view of the season three roadmap, including team rank, taunts, cheats. Yes, yes, yes. We heard that some of you would like to hear an update on naval balance. Ayo, significant balance changes like this require time and different steps and teams acting in unison. In short, it's a bigger change than you expect, which touches balance gameplay and our presentation team. They've been working on it, but it's something that needs to be presented in a completed package. So you might see these. So, so these are changes you might see in season three update. Kind of they're saying is like the, 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 the water rework is, it's a bigger problem than you think. It's not going to be just like a small patch fix for the next month this is going to be a more of a season three update type of thing here's of what we have planned for naval rebalance 
Okay, let's just huge. Let's see what they say. Enhanced tactical RPS gameplay. Starting in the feudal age, you'll have access to three ships in the feudal age, which have strong bonuses against each other, making for exciting tactical engagements. Okay, earlier engagements were making ships more affordable, so you have bigger battles on the water, responsiveness, responsiveness tuning, faster movement speed, and more responsive turning of the ships. Does that make spin the wind easier? Rework balance, new cost stats, enhancements, and evil map changes, more wood, fair distribution. I mean, honestly, what I take away from this is we're going to have, fa I, I don't, this might even mean we're going to have different, like we're going to have a, new ships that aren't in the game. I think that could possibly what they mean, or they're going to be fine tuning what is there, the assets that we already have. But water is going to be changing, big naval balance, and this could be in season three, while they haven't explicitly said it will be yet. Okay, there we go, guys. That is going to be your August patch for Age of Empires 4. Just to do a quick rundown from top to bottom one more time. This is your 60-second update. Okay, we've got fixes to all the remappable hotkeys. Once again, some new mod changes as far as resource, resources. Uh, herbal medicine nerfed. Survival techniques buffed. Cheaper to get. Siege engineering going to be faster now to research. Rams are going to be cheaper. Scouts are going to take longer to train. Their health uh, regeneration has gone down. By quite a bit they can see over stealth forest uh easier now all those early horsemen vanguard man arms spearmen upgrades those are gonna be cheaper man arms rush the dark age maybe it'll be more viable i don't know buildings they're not going to target the rams as a first target anymore uh, they're going to favor other units town centers they're not going to do as much damage they're going to shoot slower and have less uh garrison capacity so it's going to make defending a little harder for those early pushes uh outposts they've got less health they take more time to train now uh to build now and they also shoot slower delhi they've got their elephants nerfed uh, french got their villagers nerfed villager training nerf hre repair cooldown has been nerfed it's fixed the attack move bug of the prelates mongols start with a gur i think those are our main updates we've got some map changes altai ancient spires our horse archer bug fix some other small bug fixes here ui changes and i think the biggest thing is we've got perhaps a naval balance rework on the horizon a great patch from relic i'm really excited about it let me know what you think about all this down below if you haven't already hit that sub button and as always i'll see you live over on twitch.tv slash fitzbro to unpack this patch when it is released tomorrow thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one